Hey again, everyone. All right, so you got your child on the ice. They're balanced, they're starting to move, but now it's time to get them gliding. So here's what you need to know. Super important. We're not gonna change anything too drastic right off the bat, but there is one really important key and it's the direction of your child's toes. We're gonna get them to do something called the duck walk or the penguin waddle, whichever animal they prefer. So what that means is their toes are going to actually point in opposite directions. They're gonna open up like a letter V, okay? And they're doing the exact same thing that we talked about in the last video. They're gonna make those tapping noises with their feet and they're going to walk forward. But when their toes are opened out side to side, that will actually naturally promote the gliding motion of real skating. So it's gonna start slow. Don't expect magic right off the bat. In the duck walk, you're gonna get them to practice just that little march with their toes pointing out to the side. As that becomes more and more comfortable, you're gonna get them to try racing or running with that duck walk position. And as they start running, you'll actually start to see little bits of gliding naturally happen. So they're gonna walk, they're gonna get faster, and as they run, they're gonna be getting so much speed that their feet won't have anything else to do but glide, okay? Now, once your child is at the phase where they're comfortably running and getting into a glide position, they're probably gonna need to stop moving their feet to regain control and balance. And this is a good thing. So we're gonna revert right back to that balance position that we talked about in our other videos. Feet, shoulder width apart, knees bent, back straight, and hands out in front, okay? Chin up as well. You wanna be able to see where you're going. This is going to be our first glide position. So let's see what that looks like going from a running duck walk into our ready position, our steady position. Duck walk. Feet together. Gliding already. Now, if that seems to come fairly easy for your child, here's a few things you can do to get them gliding in a couple of different ways. We're gonna stick with two foot glides today, but we can glide on two feet in a straight line. We can glide on two feet curving around some corners. We can glide with our hands on our knees and we can even glide with our hands on our toes. So what we're actually going to do, just like the previous video, we're gonna put all those skills into a super fun circuit. So that way your child has a purpose to their skating. They're not just running drills and potentially getting bored. They actually will have a task, a goal. And we're actually gonna use the blue zoo for our task today. So let's get started over here. At the blue zoo, you can see something important is missing. There are no animals to be found. So we're going to follow the pathway to find the animals and safely bring them back to the zoo. All the while practicing the skills that we've learned already. So here's our starting arrow. We're gonna start with those side steps, just getting those feet lifting off the ice, looking at the happy face, keeping my knees bent, hands in front. Once I've completed that section, I look over here. These little red marks for my circuit mean to remember to put those toes open so we can start duck walking. And then right away, we're gonna get back into those side steps in the other direction. Time for that duck walk again. Quick as they can go. And we've got our first glide. There were two feet together over there. So the idea is when they see those feet, their feet come together and each foot has a line to follow and they need to try and keep their feet still the whole length of those lines, okay? So that was our first curved glide. Here comes a straight one and this time we're actually going to touch our knees. So duck walk again, touching the knee glide and check it out. 
here are all those animals. So, you can get your child to fall all the way down to pick up an animal, or you can get them to practice balancing and reaching down, picking one up without falling. You can change it up on the day. Once they have an animal, they can continue on their way. They gotta get through my bridge over here by going as low as they can in their glide position. Duck walk, low glide. We have a little squiggly snail over here. So we're gonna do one quick turn. And here we are at the blue zoo. Our first animal is saved, returned safely, and off we can go again to collect the rest of them. Hope you have tons of fun gliding with your child and we'll see you for another Learn to Skate video later on. Bye-bye.